Thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers. So, so, so exciting. I really, really appreciate all the support and I'm so excited to show you my little apartment. We're gonna start in this little corner here. It's kind of just like a, a shelf with lots of trinkets that I love on it. I have a lot of like things that people have given me here. Like these two cookbooks are from friends. This is from my uncle and it's like a, a really cool book where it's like photos from all around the world but they were all taken on the same day, which I think is awesome. Some photos with some friends and also just a cute mug because I'm absolutely obsessed with mugs. Like literally obsessed. You, you will soon discover how obsessed I am, but literally obsessed. I have um, some cute little like mugs that I got. Not mugs, they're like coffee cups, little coffee espresso cups. And this is a really cute photo of my um, grandparents when they were younger. They're just so adorable. Bless them. They're really cute. They're really cute. Over here, we have like a range of books. So like, I don't know why I have like Australian first aid. I don't know why I have a first aid book. I was always worried to like chuck it down. Like what if someone's dying? What if we have a meltdown here in the apartment? I've got first aid. I mean, 15 years old, but YOLO, we still got it. You know the Harry Potter books, that were, what were they called? The uh, the Tales of Beetle and Bard, the, I think there's a Quidditch, Quidditch Through the Ages, and there was like the Fantastical Beast and Where to Find Them, that trilogy, good fun, love that for us. If I can get them back, you know what, I can't get them back in the thing, so I'll just pop them there. And then I got my Kindle, I love a Kindle, I love, love, love a Kindle, because it's like a million books in one, it's like, oh, 30, 50 books in just one little device, could be more, could be 100, could be 200, we live our best lives with the Kindle. And then I have my, um, what's it called, a coaster, oh my god, but I have them all star sign coasters, I got a bit upset because they got dirty, and I was like, oh my god, why are they getting dirty, but then I also have to remind myself, I'm like, Peter, they're coasters, they're meant to get dirty so other things don't get dirty. So I was like, Peter, settle down, just live with the coasters getting a bit dirty. But then I tried to clean them and it didn't really work. This is a piece of art that my friend Beck made for me. And oh my God, it's the most beautiful 3D thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm not even kidding. And then, um, actually that's, may maybe I'm kidding. There's a lot of 3D things I've seen in my life. I have a blue macchinetta because I'm obsessed with coffee. My friend got me that, but then I don't use this one because I'm like, it's too pretty. Also, here's a bunch of little trinkets. You know when you have a lot of little bits and pieces and you're like, what do I do with them? And you just like, you know what? I'll put them all together and they can be something together. Love that for them. So these three, Stay Young, Stay Fun, uh, a Pokemon one and just a random one. These are like my travel diaries. So I bring them with me overseas and I like write down what I did every day in them. And I feel like then I can like go back and have a look at them. And it's like, here's what I did. And then it sparks more memories. And then I get like, I don't know, it's great. It's just a good way to like keep track of everything, which I think is really, really fun. And then I have uh, some like notepads that uh, my friend Tessa from Survivor got me. And like one says like, you know, don't ever stop living like a unicorn exploding out of an ice cream, which is very cute, but also like, I'm sure after like a minute of living in an ice cream cone, you'd be very sick of it. Over here, I just have some like a shoe stand kind of thing. We love, you know, we love shoes and like an umbrella. Now we're gonna head into the living room. We're here. And this links to my coffee table book, which is like a Pokemon card book. I know, I just like collect like cards, like just random like cards. And I just find them really cute. There's nothing like that exciting or out there, but I just find it's like, different and I can choose the ones I like the most and pop them in for people to see and some are so adorable so it just makes me happy. We have firstly a little like sofa bed. So this is uh, cute. It's like a lounge but it, it can like fold out into a sofa bed. Not very comfortable. Tried it once, thought mm, maybe not. Then over here is like TV and like my console which is my Switch. It's more of a social console in my mind and like the games are less intense. I feel like the PS4s and the Xboxes are more intense where Switch is like oh Let's just chill and play some like, um, what's it called, Mario Kart. You know what I mean? The fun, the fun chill stuff. Then over here we have my planties. So this one, this is Vanessa. She's from my friend Alex. Alex got me Vanessa. This one is Meryl. Meryl was given to me. Oh my gosh, Mer Meryl's heavy. Meryl was given to me by my friend Felicia. And also, sorry, please excuse the plane overhead if you can hear it. And then this one is yet to be named. I kind of rescued, well, I stole it, but I like to use the term rescued this from my mum's house. I uh, just, she's yet to be named. She's really cute. She's very spiky. Um, if you have name suggestions, you are welcome to let me know. It is a she, all my plants are girls. I've just decided they are the queens together, the leafy queens. Um, but yeah, she needs a name. So feel free to let me know in the comments. Highest upvote wins. We love that for us. Now we'll go into the dining room, uh, dining area maybe I should say. Everything's just one big room. And I have a, um, a bench on one side as well. 
And the whole idea of it was that like, there's not much seating in the living area, so I could just do this. Oh my gosh, doubled my seating. The magic tricks we are here for. Um, so the kitchen's nice. It's like little, not too big. It kind of like does the job. I wouldn't say it's small. I wouldn't say, some, I'd say like medium size. I'm gonna go medium. My, maybe small, I think it's all perception, right? Some people would probably say small, some would say medium. I don't think anyone would say it's like incredibly big, but it does the job and I love it. Now here is my like tea station. I am obsessed with tea and coffee. Probably more obsessed with coffee, but I like, I like both of them very much, very much. And uh, this mug is a Harry Potter one that says the Dark Lord shall rise again. And when you put hot water into it, it should smoke up and become a bit more exciting. So I mean, don't get too excited, maybe like a six out of 10 excitement, but you know, give it, give it, give it 30 seconds, give it a minute, we'll see what happens. And over here, oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. Over here, we have my mugs and I love mugs. So I've got like Pokemon, this is my friend Felicia. So it's her face on a, on a mug. And then I, I'm sorry. And then she has one with my face on it, which is good fun. Colors, Disney. This is our uh, Survivor Alliance. And we all have this mug. I think it's from a show. And then we just Photoshopped our faces onto it. Like we're, you know, like we're from that show. Or so. I don't know, it's a bit weird, but I love it. We all have it. A cat mug, one from Japan, just colorful stuff, yay or day, because that's the life we want to live. And then if we come down, we can see how this is going. I think we're going to come back to this at the end, but it's already kind of happened. You can see the, the six out of 10 is, is realistic, like it's good fun. But sometimes I'm just like, I want more. All right, we're going to now head into my little study. I hope you are so, so pumped. Oh my God, boss, this camera work, it's giving. All right, in we come, in we come. Be careful with the cords because I popped everything on. So this is my little study. This is my workbench where I do um workbench is workbench the right term my desk where I do all my like YouTube stuff. So this is the mic I started out with and where I what I use to record my guides and then this I got for streaming because I needed something that would pick me up like if my voice is everywhere because when I stream my head goes everywhere. Whereas this one to be heard I need to be like talking straight into it. Whereas this one I can be here and it'll, it'll, it'll like do the job. You know what I mean? It'll live its best life. Um, got my desk, got my like, this is meant to be a Pokemon play map, but I just use it as a giant mouse pad. And just, yeah, all my little bits and pieces, my little trinkets, the lights are good, the lights are streaming. And then these are like what I wear for my like Twitch channel point redeem. So if people redeem it, I'll wear like these for a little while, or I'll wear this headband, or I'll change what glasses I'm wearing. Just fun little bits and pieces. You can tell I'm still like going with the soundproofing. There's a bit here. There's a bit over here on this wall here. There's a random pillow behind this monitor, you know, all part of the fun, all part of the fun. And then both, if we do a rotation, oh my God, we love it. So then this is like my streaming backdrop that I've been working on. It's kind of coming together. It still has like, still has more to give, more to do, but essentially lots of like gay pride stuff and sim stuff, of course. And then these are like lots of patches, kind of like this patch here. But then like we bought a bunch, I was like, oh my God, they're so cute. So I like put them all on like a pin board as well. Cause like, oh my God, adorable. So it's a Sailor Moon stuff. We love Sailor Moon. If we come down here, this is like more mugs that I love. Oh my God. Ah. So more mugs. This one's from Felicia. I love it. So cute. I got my ducky mug, the duckies. We love the duckies. And then this one is so cute too. There's a few more things in there, but I just love mugs. And then this is also where I put some of my survivor stuff. So this was actually like a advantage I got in the game. I'm not gonna lie. It was like, I was kind of fuming because I was like, you have a time advantage. And I was like, girl, what is a time advantage? And that was 30 seconds. I'm like, really? You're just gonna give me 30 seconds? Like, what was that gonna do? I was a bit upset. I was a little bit like, mm, okay, I see, I see you producers. I see you, I see you. Anyway, and then we have, this, this is my actual buff from Survivor. So you can see it's got a few holes in it, like, you know, a few holes because I used it to like grab the cooking stuff and like buffs are amazing. You put them over your head at night, like obviously like properly you put them over your head to stop any like bugs going around or in you. Um, and they keep you a little bit warm and they also can be used for cooking and picking up things and just absolutely love it. Never underestimate how great a buff is. Then over here, some like plush toys, mostly like Pokemon stuff, more tea stuff down here. My friend Adriana got me a lot of this, but then Felicia got me a lot of the orange stuff. This little pusheen, um, Both and I got on my birthday when we played the arcade, you know, one of those arcade prizes. Oh, we needed it. It was pink, it was glorious. This is from my mum, little sleepy Pikachu. And then I got this, um, I just bought it online. It was like $15. 
but I, I was obsessed. But then it came vacuum sealed. I don't know if anyone's seen a vacuum sealed plush toy before. Horrifying. Oh my God, I was like, what is this? And then I opened it and it you know, turned normal. I was like, oh, okay, I see, I see. Then I just got like some cards and other things and that's kind of the, the setup. It's still kind of like in the works. It's still like improving, but it's getting there. It's getting there. All right, let's go into the next room, into the next room. Do, 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 do. This is the bathroom. It is old. She needs a renovation. She will get one one day. I think rather than an actual like change the tiles, I probably just try and like do a tile paint job, make it all white. I think that would really elevate, really bring it up, like excel. Got my sunscreen and box sunscreen there too. And just, yeah, the only thing is with the tile paint, I don't want to change the bathtub from being pink. I want the bathtub to stay pink. But then my friend did a very similar thing. She bought a very similar apartment and they kind of told her they had to make the bathtub white. And I was like, oh, that's not exciting. We like a pink bathtub. Then my toilet's through there, which, you know, it's kind of like great in theory to have your toilet in a separate room. But then this, this door doesn't actually close properly. So, you know, all part of the fun. So yeah, that's okay. I guess it still kind of works. You just be like, I'm in here, you know, that kind of vibe. I'll fix it eventually. Alrighty, now this is my bedroom. I hope you like it. It is a little bit more bare just because most of my trinkets and things are in the other rooms. So I don't even have bedside lamps and that's probably the biggest crime that I've committed in my renovating so far. I also very much need a bit of like art or something. I need to spice up this room. I'm not gonna lie, I do recommend getting lamps. Half the time I'm in bed, I'm like, where is the lamp? And then I'm like, cannot find a lamp that I'm like really sold on yet. So I'm like waiting to find that lamp I really want. Yeah, then I got my little drawer, which is where my clothes are and the little mirror. Most of my clothes um, are back at like my family home with my like mum, my dad, my parents and stuff, laundry basket and just some boxes. These are just like, you know boxes when you buy stuff and you keep the box for the warranty and then you're like, okay, once it's past warranty, I'll throw it out. That's the reason why I still have the box. Anyway, then over here, let's do a swapsies. Over here is where I need to put like a, a bigger wardrobe or like a clothes horse or something. And then I think the room will be kind of complete. Clothes horse, bedside tables, a bit of art maybe. There's no art, everything's a bit boring. And then a few more like trinkets and like vibrance and energy and this will be a lot better. But yeah, that's it for now. Anyway, let's head back into the main room. Let's go friends. Alrighty, that's my little apartment. I hope you enjoyed coming through and seeing it all. We're gonna jump to the Sims now and make it on there. Let's go. Alrighty, so the first thing that you'll notice is that I did kind of pre-plan the flooring layout and like the dimensions of the rooms. I was like, if we didn't, it would have just been a mess and I would have been like spending ages figuring out how big everything was, but we got there. Then I also thought when putting this together, oh my gosh, why does everything look so boring? Like I think all the white walls really just said, this is boring. And I was like, why is it all so white? Why so? And I was like, well, that's what my apartment is. And then I thought, so many houses and like places are like this. So like, is everything just look really boring when you make it on The Sims? And then I related it back to like the base game houses in The Sims, which look really, really boring. And I was like, maybe it is, maybe it is. And then you'll also notice that when making this room, I put some really, really big windows. And when I put the pole up, which eventually won with doing the apartment tour and then making it in The Sims, people did kind of say, be careful for your privacy. And look, I don't actually think anyone here that's like watching me is like really like crazy or will like try and look up where I lived and anything like that. But I just was like, you know what? Better to be safe, just to be safe. So you might notice some things in this kind of sim field that you wouldn't have really paid too much attention with in the tour because like I had all the blinds down, everything was like a bit, you know, bit secretive, bit, bit secret, you know, we love that for us. So then I was putting everything together in this main room and I was quite happy with how it all turned out. I felt that everything looked quite good and also I thought it looked quite realistic when compared to how my apartment actually is. I mean, the plants, the pot plants mm, could have been a bit better. They were okay, but you know, I felt it didn't match perfectly. I was very happy with the kitchen though. I thought the kitchen looked pretty spot on besides like the counter back looking like brown when really it's more of like a cream color that matches like the front counter color. But overall, I was really, really happy with it. I was just so happy that it could replicate so like seamlessly. Although I will say when I put like the tea station and stuff. I really wanted to replicate my pink kettle, but I couldn't and I was like a little bit sad, you know. Whenever the Sims team makes swatches for another base game item, I want it to be the tea brewer and I want to have a pink swatch. Just putting that out there, manifesting it, putting it into the universe. 
now jumping into my streaming area and I was really happy with how this came together. I had to do some cheeky things like for example instead of like my, my streaming lights that are on my desk I put like wall lights also then for my soundproofing I just found this wall decor thing that kind of worked kind of didn't work I was like mm, it's the best we can do I think it's square it goes on a wall I was like mm, good enough it does not look like it's soundproof material but we can pretend we can totally pretend then I went to do my trinkets at the back and that worked pretty well I felt that like the sims needs more clutter I feel like we have a lot of clutter even with the clutter kits but then I just realized that there's so much clutter and like things that we don't have and I could totally do with like another thing of clutter like I don't know a whole stuff pack of clutter give me a whole stuff pack of clutter with a few like objects that are interactable and I would be down for it also I just really want to see the return of stuff packs so manifesting that too I also want to manifest another swatch for the sims icon with their progressive pride flag colors I have that in my actual study like you know right behind me and I would be totally down for them to add it into the sims as well also the sims are just so inclusive and I absolutely love that and I think it would be perfect for them to add that kind of swatch in and so we could all just use that in our builds I would use it a lot I would be so happy if they added that so so happy then of course I have the little ottoman with the stuffed toy on it and I just put like a, a dog toy there it's kind of just meant to represent all of the stuff I have on my like ottoman I was like you know what that can just represent everything why not we love that for us now for the bathroom and I think I made my bathroom a little bit nicer than it actually is in real life like it still looks okay I guess but then I glammed it up with like a nicer kind of shower bath and a few nicer features and accents I don't know did I go too far maybe maybe I should have probably used like the discover university a shower with like a regular bath but you know we glammed it up we glammed it up then I also did have to put like a washer dryer separately whereas mine does like both in one but you know we got there overall I do think I made my bathroom look nicer than it is in real life but you know you guys can forgive me for that hopefully then when I went into my bedroom I realized I needed to make the whole house just a little bit bigger to make the dimensions work so I did a little bit of restructuring but then the actual bedroom itself is just so boring I was like oh my god literally like bed side tables a little dresser and like a mirror and I was like that's it there is not much or also like a laundry hamper but like literally not much not much at all I was like I really should have like glammed up my bedroom for this but oh well it will happen in time it will definitely happen in time and now we are completely done so I'm going to show you all some like comparison photos between my actual apartment and then what I made in the sims and I hope you like it let me know if you think I could have done things better or differently or like what you would have used instead for some different situations would love to hear from you and of course I just want to say a massive massive thank you for 50,000 subscribers for all of the support and for just making this so so fun and being really really kind always honestly I couldn't have asked for a nicer community I hope you enjoyed the special video and I'll hopefully see you all soon thank you so much again and take care all right see you later bye